Hey, guess what I'm doing today? Yes, that's right. I'm downloading X13 on my Apple MacBook laptop. Uh, follow along and we'll see how this works. Yep, so I'm downloading X13 here. I know it won't run the real-time ray tracing, but I want to uh, download X13 and um, see what the other new features are, some of the other new features like wall types and things that I want to check out and uh, use those upgrades uh, in my process. I know it can't do the real-time ray tracing, but I think the other features will be worth it. Follow along, let's see how this goes. So after a couple of minutes here, it finally downloaded. I'm going to open the file and we'll click on this. Okay, um, double click. Huh. Um, try it again. There we go. Let's get it installed. Yes, success. Let's, uh, yes, let's move the installer file to the trash. And open Chief Architect here, X13. Where is there? Uh, not X12, X13. There we go. All right, enter my product key. Activate. Uh, for now, I'm not going to uh, associate because I want to keep running X12. Wait a second. A video card does not meet the software's minimum requirements or the video driver needs to be updated. Let's check the knowledge base. I know it doesn't meet the minimum requirements for real-time ray tracing, but... Click OK and just see what it does here. We're going to migrate everything. Let's also migrate the templates and toolbars. That should be good. Okay. Copying all the files. Hey, so it's all loaded. Let's start a new plan and start drawing. Uh, I couldn't find 110 volt ceiling to let's okay well we'll figure that out later uh, pulling up the template and let's close the libraries it's downloading the libraries that's cool let's draw something just draw a box and let's select these walls um, we'll, no, um, just change them to gables here and let's open the roof planes change the eaves and gables to 12 and click OK I'm not worried too much about anything I just want to um, build a box with a roof I forgot to build the roof planes there we go um, let's uh, take a rendering full overview and um, 
we get nothing. Okay. Uh, let's check 3D defaults. There's no options options for real time ray tracing. Um, hmm. Um, let's take a full camera inside and we get nothing. I thought Macs were supposed to be able to run X13, just wouldn't be able to run the real time ray tracing. So I'm looking for a setting maybe to turn real time ray tracing off. Uh, full overview, no, it's that's definitely not working. Um, how about a section? Same. Um, setting CPU ray trace. That's a ray trace, not a rendering, though. Um, um, hmm. Well, I'm going to have to call tech support. I'll let you know what happens, I guess. I'll be back. So I called Chief Architect Technical Support, and they walked me through this, um, I guess, troubleshooting. I went to the Apple menu about this Mac and clicked on System Report. And he wanted to see the model identifier right here, MacBook Pro 11, 3. That's a late uh, 2013 model of laptop. And when I go to graphics displays, both the Iris Pro and the NVIDIA GeForce um, GPUs, uh, the metal version right here, GPU Family 1. They both are GPU Family 1 version 4. GPU family one version four. For X13 to work, unfortunately, it needs to be metal family two. So uh, this is this uh, laptop is too old uh, to be running any uh, any renderings or elevations or sections on X13. That he explained that. The um, requirements for renderings, uh, they, they have to do it on the GPU, uh, even, even if it's not just, even for standard, ray standard renderings, not even the, just the uh, real-time ray tracing. So it's got to be GPU family 2. Uh, I guess it's uh, got to put a new computer on my wish list. I know this isn't the greatest, uh, ex most exciting video of Tech Tip Tuesdays, but uh, check out your check out your Mac, uh, your hardware, and the graphics display for GPU Family Two, and that should be running X13 then. Thanks so much for watching. Always click that like and subscribe buttons. Uh, take care. Have a great week.